Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm gonna do a very quick compressor shootout. I'm doing this on the clean channel of the Soldano of the SLO100 uh, together with the York Audio Friedman 4x12 impulse response and the Hot Springs reverb uh, at the very end of the chain. I'll be using three different compressors from the Line 6 Podgo and all three of them are in front of the AM block. First we have the Deluxe Comp, the second one is the Rochester Comp and finally we have the Red Squeeze. Only the first one, the Deluxe Comp, is a Line 6 original model and the other two are hardware emulations. This one in particular, the Rochester Comp, is emulating the Ashley CLX52 compressor limiter and the Red Squeeze is of course MXR's uh, Dynacomp. All of these compressors sound a bit different and I do have a very obvious favorite here but before I get into that, here's just a quick demo of the dry sound first and then the ABC or the 1, 2, 3 of the three compressors. Now let's discuss a few details. The settings inside the Deluxe Comp and the Rochester Comp are exactly the same except for the level control right here. But the threshold, the ratio, the attack and the release, the mix knob and the hardness of the knee are set up the exact same way. However, the compressors do not sound the same. To me personally, it sounds like the Rochester Comp is doing more compression. It sounds a bit more grabby and aggressive when I compare it to the Deluxe Comp. The Deluxe Comp is, in lack of a better description, a fairly transparent compressor. Red Squeeze seems to have a slowish attack, at least what I heard, and once it actually grabs a signal, it seems to have a much slower release time when compared to the Deluxe Comp and the Rochester Comp. I'm actually not liking the way it's late on the attack. Let me demonstrate this uh, one more time. I'm gonna do the Rochester Comp and the Red Squeeze uh, so you can hear the difference. <laughs> Let's try to quickly uh, fix this behavior by increasing the sensitivity and seeing if that will uh, fix the attack portion of this compressor. Now when I compare the settings between the two compressors, uh, definitely because I've increased the sensitivity inside the Red Squeeze, it's doing a lot more and it's more aggressive than the Rochester and the Lux Comp. Picking a favorite among these three compressors was not hard at all, to be honest, and the obvious winner for me, for my ears here, is the Rochester Comp. The reason why I say that is because I hear that a very slight amount of saturation is added to my guitar tone when I kick in the Rochester Comp and that is uh, very pleasant to my ears. Anyway, that's it. That was uh, a very quick analysis of three different compressors that we have inside the Line 6 Pad Go. If you find this content helpful, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next video. And please do tell me in the comments below what is your favorite out of the three compressors uh, you heard just now. Adio!